All right, so the reason I want everyone to be here is because I think it's only fair that everyone knows what's going on. And I think it's fair that we vote in a fair way to evict the right person out of this house. So I feel like someone is playing both sides of the house right now. And when you're HOH, it sucks, and I don't even want to be up here doing this because I hate this, but it's not fair that someone can go and tell me and people that I care about one story and then someone else tell the other person another story. Can we just like stop really fast? Because I feel like the way that if, if the goal of this is to get to the truth, I think it's important not to start with accusations okay. of this of this happened. But all any all that you know is that you've heard facts. something do you see what I'm saying? Okay. So I'll just state the facts. So the fact is I wanted Monet to go home, obviously. We all know that. I had been talking to people about securing votes, so whoever I had to put up after POV would be a safe person to put up so that they didn't go home because I didn't want someone else to have to go home because I don't think that that's fair. Matt approached me and said, hey, if you want Monet to go home, then use me as a pawn. Brittany, would you like to share the rest of the facts? <laughs> On our side, not only was Matt incredibly upset that he was ever put up on the block and had no idea that he was going up on the block and expressed that he didn't understand why him and Rachel were friends, why he would go up on the block. Am I right? Yeah. He acted like he had no idea. So the fact that he volunteered completely took me by surprise because according to everyone who was in the backyard that night, he was scared of going up on the block and was very paranoid acting, right? Yeah. And wow. the whole time he had volunteered to go up well, to get I, Monet out. I can tell you my side of the story too. Matt, like, but I, like, I even, I came to you and I trusted you and you were like, I don't know. <laughs> well, here's uh, my take on the entire situation. Well, and uh, just before you speak, I can say that Grenade. Matt, did, nobody knew who was going up on the yep, block that until is true. the power of veto ceremony. That is absolutely true. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know anybody was going on the block. I just, like I said, I just was. Wish it wasn't me, and that was it. You know, so I didn't know who was going on the block. That was one side of it, that which is absolutely true. I had no idea until my name was called. Uh, I volunteer myself, not for uh, reasons that it may sound like, but for reasons that many of you may agree, uh, as I felt strong-armed by the two of you. I got called into the room with Reagan and was basically told that I needed to vote how they wanted to, and they were putting Andrew up against Monet. Um, so I had two options. I could fall into their bullying and vote out Monet, or I could do what I would have rather done and voted out Andrew and then, you know, piss them off. Or option three was to just not vote at all. And the only way I could not vote and not be put in this position of bullying that six of you were put in upstairs is to put myself up on the block and say, I'll just put myself up because then I don't have to vote and I don't have to deal with this bullshit that they're pulling right now. Well, then I can so, speak on that now. I can take over from here because when you volunteered to go up as a pawn, Rachel was trying to convince you not to go up as a pawn. And you were the one that kept insisting. And I don't want to drag Reagan in this, but he was right there. Yeah, so. well, did, did I also go up there? And you called me up at some point later on and said, I don't know what I'm going to do if uh, you're going up or if Andrew's getting put up. And did I say anything other immediately then? I don't care. Then why, do what you want to do. Why did you tell Brittany that you are pissed at us, that you are coming after me and Brendan, and that you want to seek your revenge? And that anyone that trusts me and Brennan are idiots. I'm upset at the way that you have strong-armed people in this game. How did I strong-arm anyone? I felt strong-armed. I felt that uh, there was no need to go and say, uh, you need to do what, uh, vote how I need to tell you in this game, because, uh, I, I mean, I just don't think that's the right way to approach the oh, situation. I don't did think you that is the right way. I don't think she ever the said that. No, I did not try. I did, never threw her under the bus. You said Brittany was the saboteur and all oh, this other Oh, I told you I thought it. Yeah, I yeah. told you that. But regardless, did you say bad things about me? No. Oh. Matt, you told, why, Brittany, you told me that Matt said that he 
was you specifically said to me, you said that he was telling you, Enzo and Lane, that he needed to get out me and Brendan, take us out, that, he, that he's pissed off at us. Why would you say that you're pissed off at us to them? Matt? I'm pissed off at the, I told you, I just explained myself. But you said you're pissed because we put you up as a pawn. Now you're trying to twist this around on us. No, I'm pissed at the way you handled the situation. When we brought you up, when you came up to the room, we never even mentioned your name to you about ever using you as a pawn. You, when we were talking about yeah. Andrew, you said, I don't think it's a good idea. I, yeah. I think it's too risky. I think you should put me up as a pawn because yeah. no one will vote me out and they'll send Monet home. Well, yeah, I told you. Of course I told you that. But I mean, and, and there are other people in this house who I'm not going to call out by name, but they're sitting here and they know who they are that uh, can absolutely attest to the fact, and if they want to speak up, it's up to them, that the, the reason I did this, and that I have admitted to that I volunteered myself, so this is not a shock to everyone in this room, as you may think, is because I felt strong-armed. You were trying to get me to vote for someone that I didn't want to vote for, and the best way I could get out of voting was just to not vote at all. And to not vote is to have me up on the block. That's it. And then you bullied six other people up there. Probably not all of them. There are other people on this couch that probably are sucking your balls, anyone, too. And Matt. If we, if we wanted to bully people, we wouldn't have held this meeting. Exactly. We held this meeting to clear the air. Well, I think because you might have held this meeting because everybody in the house should know what's now. going on. No. You're trying to play both sides. Matt? You got caught, Matt. I'm not playing both sides. There are people that are that none of this is shocking to them in this house. That you're playing both sides? I know No, I'm not playing both sides at all. Matt, we called a house meeting so that everyone in this house knows what's going on. When you're playing a game like this, two people have to go on the block. Someone yeah. is going to go home every week. And... It's not fair to have someone playing all these different games with all these different people. That's not how I want to play the game. I'm not going to go lie to my friends and tell them one thing and tell someone else something else. Um, I mean, if- Did you or did you not tell Brittany that you were shocked that we, that we put you up, that you were, you um, I didn't know, I thought didn't... that we were idiots and that you're coming right after us and you want to seek your revenge? I didn't know you were putting me up, first off. Matt, you volunteered to be a pawn. And you told me that, like, literally minutes before the veto, and, you know, like, know. within the hours before the veto, veto, you told me you didn't know what you were doing. Is that true? Did you tell Enzo and Lane that you're shocked that we, did, did, they, did he tell you this? Is he playing you guys like he's playing Britney? I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on right I don't, now. I, I don't know what's going on. Did you on. say anything? About Kristen's vote, did I said something about Kristen's vote? No, no, vote? I didn't. I didn't. To who? To anybody? No. Ask anyone if I said. Kristen's name never came out of my mouth. Okay. And if anyway, if, if it did, and anyone says it, please speak up because it, it didn't happen. No, you want me to tell you what I think? I think that you want us to put you up, so we would. You feel like we owed you a favor. I don't know why. And then you could turn favor. around, run to the other <laughs> side, tell them that how dare they put you up, and and so that should you, you know somebody else over here get, get in power that you can just run to the other side and join force and try to put us up if as I, revenge. If I wanted your favors at the time that even happened, you go, you said something effective like, you know, and you're safe next week. And my response was, oh, I don't care. That's exactly what it is. And Rayton was in the room for that because I don't care. I didn't do it for any favors. I don't, I didn't, I didn't ask for anything in return. Nothing like that. And I just want to jump in because my, my interpretation of what Matt said about put me up is a little bit different. My interpretation of that is if Matt wasn't sure that he would, if Matt has Andrew and Monet up and he couldn't make you the promise that he would vote to evict Monet, Monet over Andrew and instead he says, put me up as a pawn, yeah. if that to me is more honest than it is. But Can then I? why yeah, would he go you, to Brittany? You were right there. Did you feel like we were bullying him into doing that? Um. Why? Would, but why I, would he go to Brittany I, I, and say I, that I stuff to Brittany? Use, no, I wouldn't use the word bullying. I never asked for a deal. I never said the same thing. I wouldn't use the word bullying. He said it, and I, I said I don't care. I go, don't say it to me. I don't care. I, do, I wouldn't it think it was. I. It wasn't the situation like. So tell me your thoughts on the situation. It was like this is what's going to happen. Do we have your vote for this? But then so why do you act it... to Brittany and go to Brittany and say that you want to seek your revenge? Well, let's... Do... Did okay. you tell Brittany that? Just say the yeah. facts. Did you yeah, say that? Yeah, here's the facts. Lest you think I'm trying to be sneaky. Uh, yeah, you two are certainly a target for me next week. And if anyone in the house thinks that you shouldn't be a target for them next week, 
they're either you know victims of your bullying or they're just like have zero big How brother strategy at all because anyone? it's not bullying but i mean you went on a power trip this week for sure how did i go on a power trip 